Hello there gamers, welcome back to HP Gaming's GameLink. My name is Matt and today we're going to be teaching you how to play the 2 to infinity number player game. Zombie Dice, complete with brains and all sorts of other weird and wonderful things. Uh, this is a great little push your luck dice rolling game, can, play to be, can, can be played excuse me, by any number of players. Uh, published by Steve Jackson Games, uh, and it's one of these just just one more roll game, just one more roll game, uh, in a similar style to the dice game Greed, uh, but obviously with a very interesting um, zombie style uh, flavour. There are a number of expansions available to increase your game capacity and the number of dice as well. But first things first, uh, let's hit the table and we'll learn how to play. In Zombie Dice, each player takes the form of a ravenous, hungry zombie trying to collect the most brains. The first zombie to get 13 brains wins, however, you must collect the brains while avoid getting, avoiding getting shotgunned by your victims. On each player's turn, they will take the cup here, they will give it a bit of a shake, and you will draw out, without looking, three dice. Once you have three dice in your hand, You'll roll them and assess the results. Now the three dice come in different colours, red, yellow and green. A green die is considered easy and has more brains than feet and shotgun symbols. A yellow die is intermediate and has a, big, a bit of a mix of brains, shotguns and feet and red is usually considered quite difficult uh, because it has mostly shotguns, very few brains and a lot of running away symbols. What do the symbols mean? Uh, what do the symbols mean? Let's go through them. So, if this was my first roll, I would have scored one brain and one shotgun. Now, I can keep going here to try and press my luck for more brains, or I can stop and score the one point. In this instance, I would probably consider going again because it's the first turn of the game and I've only got the one brain. If I want to go again, I must re-roll this die because the foot symbol means that you must re-roll that one here. So, I would take the cup, they would take the cup, I would shake it, and I would draw out two more die without looking at them, grab the red die that I've uh, previously used from the previous turn, roll all three together, and then assess my score. Now in this case, I have three feet symbols. So with the three feet symbols, that means I need to re-roll all three dice again. And in this case, I've got lucky, I've got two more brains, and one more shotgun. So with a score line like this of three brains and two shotguns, I would probably stay and pass the dice cup with all the dice to the next player. So here you've got the different breakdown of the 13 dice that are in the game. Obviously green, uh, lots of brains, obviously some shotguns as well. Uh, not as many yellow dice and of course the three red dice. All of the dice have the symbols engraved on them, so even if the colour does start to fade, you'll still be able to see what's going on with all the pieces here. As you roll the dice and score points, you can keep re-rolling die as long as you like, provided you don't get the three shotgun symbols. Uh, and obviously the first player to score 13 points wins. Now it is worth noting too that you can keep re-rolling dice as long as you like provided you don't get those three shotgun symbols. Uh, once you either get three shotguns or decide to stay on the score you're on, you put all the dice back in the cup and pass them to the next player. Uh, should you go through all the dice and run out of dice, just remember what score you're on, how many shotguns you have, put all the dice back in the cup and keep on rolling. Uh, now the game continues until one player reaches 13 brains and once that player has reached 13 brains uh, they would effectively be the winner except they trigger the end game first. So say you've got uh, four players around the table and uh, you've had your first turn, uh, the next player in line reaches their 13 brains. Every player following that player will get one more turn to try and either equal or better that score and then obviously determine a winner. In the case of a tie, uh, the players share the victory there is no tiebreakers as such. It's considered quite the feat uh, to replicate that, particularly if you're only on four brains and manage to reach 13 in a single turn. Final thoughts? 
Uh, it's a great party game, uh, a great way to break the ice, a good, uh, good filler game in between larger games as well. So if you're having a big game session, uh, this is a good way to sort of fill in space in between games rather than going through heavy slog games all the time. Uh, there are a number of expansions that are available, as I said at the outset, uh, that allow you to roll uh, different dice for different characters, uh, different zombie style movie characters like a heroine and a hero. Uh, there is even a school bus expansion where the zombies will attack a school bus of children except that for whatever reason, the school children are touting double shotguns. Uh, so um, I'll let you find out a bit more about those on your own. There is also a horde mode of zombie dice, uh, which is a full boxed edition, which includes the uh, dice cup, all the dice and all the expansions, along with a handy scoring pad as well to keep track of who has what brains. Um, great filler game. Uh, very simple to teach, as you've just seen, very easy to learn, very hard to put down once you get into it, and uh, it's one of our go-to choices uh, when we're sitting around the table or demoing showcases. You can always reach out to us at hpgaming.com.au and organise your own gaming showcase where we'll come out to you uh, with a host of games that you may never have heard of before, uh, demo them, even run a tournament and maybe even have a little something something for the winner as well. Uh, and if you're the host of such a showcase, you'll put yourself in the running for some great little discounts as well off brand new products. Uh, until next time, folks, uh, hit up the website if you have any questions obviously pop them in the comments below uh, check out hpgaming.com.au and we'll see you at the table with some new games very very soon bye for now